Hi, you guys. This is a Cancer and Virgo love and relationship reading. So, Cancer, if you're dealing with a Virgo or Virgo, you're dealing with a Cancer. These messages might very well be for you. Welcome to Cancerian Chronicles, and let's get started. Oh, wow. So, the card that just popped out is the Fates. And what's at the bottom of the deck? We have Co-Create. So, Cancer, if you are dealing with a Virgo, I don't know why, but I'm getting the sense of like, this is some type of relationship where um, it's like divinely guided, if that makes any sense. So, um, hmm. let's see what's going on. It's like uh, someone, like something that's meant to be. Um, but we have, I feel unworthy of having love in my life. Um, I feel miserable and lost. Mm. And it says, I'm seeing someone, but I'm not ready for you to know about them yet. So could it be that there is someone that you are, I mean, I hate to say it, but like you're meant to be with someone like there, there's a couple like they're meant to be, but this person, like one of these people, I'm here, one of these, one of these friends is doing its own thing. One of these friends is just not the same. So it's kind of like someone is refusing their call or their calling um, because they just haven't like someone just hasn't learned whatever lessons they're supposed to learn. Someone is still um deciding that like i'm hearing why me so i don't know why someone feels like they're unworthy but um it's like they don't want to deal with the person that they're supposed to be with it's like oh okay i hate okay i'm just gonna say it so I, what i heard was pee on right so someone has decided consciously decided that they're going to deal with lesser beings like lesser people like um I'm, I'm trying to think of nice ways to say this, but someone has decided to stick oh, to the lower echelon. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to say it in a nice way, but they're doing it intentionally because they just don't feel like they deserve um, the other person. I mean, I don't know. But that's a them issue. It's not a you issue, right? It says, I'm not sure I can meet your expectations. The pressure is too much for me. Yeah, so it's like, not that this person doesn't love, um, we'll say you. So it's not that the person doesn't love you or doesn't want to be with you. They just don't feel like they're good enough. Like, I don't know how else to say that. And there's nothing that you can do about it. So it, it's not anything for like, there's nothing you can do about that. It says rejecting you was protecting myself. I was being selfish. I'm telling you this person, um, they feel like it's, it's safer. Like they're safer where they are. Right. And I'm I'm getting the sense of like someone, um, you know, it's not just about like them being in like a bad part of town or, you know, someone could live in a bad part of town. I don't know why this is why I'm thinking of this, but it's just like someone has decided to just stay. I'm here and stay down. Right. Someone has just decided <laughs> they're not even going to try. They're not even going to try. Yeah, we're living two separate lives is what I just looked down at. Like, they're not even going to try. So someone like, yeah, someone just needs to move on because this person is just not going to do any better. They're not going to try. They have not done whatever work it is that they need to do. They don't feel worthy. Um, it's kind of like they've put you on this pedestal, right? And um, they just don't think that they could ever reach you. It's almost, I'm hearing something about an earth angel. It's almost like this person sees you as like some type of divine being, as an earth angel. And they just, they feel like they are not fit. They are not worthy. I'm hearing to touch the hem of your gown. It says, I pushed you away because I do not want the responsibility i'm telling you someone um was being divinely guided towards you you might have even been um divinely guided towards them you guys were supposed to come together some type of you know like dare i say it power couple right um and but someone just doesn't want to answer the call 
I'm hearing that you're ready because you stay ready, right? But this person is not. And, you know, so it's kind of like you pass a test and they fail. I'm getting a very strong yes for that. Yeah, I tried to run from this connection, but my soul craves you. Like this person isn't over you. Um, again, that's a them problem. Because um, I, I really feel like you're over them. You know, not to say that you never really loved them or you didn't care about them or you weren't excited about the connection. But I mean, you're not about to be going around chasing anyone either, right? Because like that person needs to man up, woman up, put on their big boy, big girl um, undies and, and get to it because you're willing to do so. But like you can't do that on your own, right? You can't be a power couple. You can't be a one person power couple, right? But um, I don't know what, I'm not going to go any deeper into the cards. I don't know what all is in store for you. I'm sure it's going to be something great. Um, I'm hearing that something, something, I'm hearing better than ever, baby. So something else is going to be um, heading towards you. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to leave it there because I'm just kind of rambling right now and I don't want to like keep going on and on. So I hope that these messages were helpful. Um, please be sure to tap that like button. Um, share the video, comment, all of that good stuff. I love you so much and have a beautiful day. Bye. Mwah.